may already know, but you know, Ragel wrote this piece, this little sonatina, or we call it little little piece, it is mini sonata, um, but it's a fantastic, amazing, exquisite piece, as you heard. He wrote this to compete to, for the competition, to get 100 francs. And, and uh, the first movement, I guess that's what he wrote first, but uh, he was only allowed to, uh, to uh, have uh, 75 uh, bars, measures, for the first uh, movement. And what happened was, he, it happened that he did not follow that, and he, his first movement was uh, a few bars too long. So they disqualified him. And so this was not even taken as one of the contestants. Isn't that amazing? And probably this was one of the best ones. This is what happens to some competitions, you know? So it's something to, to really to be frustrated about. But anyway, so that's interesting. Did you know about that story? <laughs> so, anyway, so everybody thinks this is a small, small sonatina and uh, simple. It is not. Even Ravel himself said, this is difficult, very difficult. Stylistically and, and uh, interpretively, and colorfully and imaginatively. In every way, he puts his soul into this. And um, each movement has its beautiful character. This is a gem of uh, uh, French music, and then he's, this is one of his special uh, treasure of the piece. And the last movement is brilliant, the one of the most virtuosic piece. And he himself, Felt that this was too difficult for him to play, and he, he made a recording. He only played first and second movements, and he would not play the last. He said, "It's too hard for me." So anyway, you played it so well, and Ravel will be very impressed that you played the third movement so well, right? With no problem. Okay. Um, first of all, interestingly. You notice that this the beginning of the you know, this the falling fourth is used. It sometimes goes back and forth, and, and uh, it's really the combination. To me, it's a combination of fourth and fifth. Constantly, he uses it. You know, plays it. It makes a clear, almost crystal-like texture, transparency. That's something you really want to find in it, you know. When I first learned this piece as a young person, as a teenager, I fell in love with this. I loved the sound and sonority and the color. It was so new to me, French sound, you know. And something like that. When you see a new piece, when you look at the first play, you know, through the piece, and you find some new harmony and new something so special, you need to be so touched by it. That makes a huge difference, because that's the beginning of your unique play, different from everybody, because everybody feels differently about the piece, right? And so this force would come into the second movement, even, use, is used, in this time, actually it's a it's all in, you know, but and this time, um, <coughs> you know, it's not this, but then, so he's playing around with the fourth and fifth, and, and then what we'll happens at the last movement? Would you play that? What do you see? Where do you see? Falling forth. Then what happens is that is a melody. 
always slowly because slowly we hear everything. Until we really get the control of it, we practice slow. So first we need to have pinky and yeah, are you doing pinky to two by two? Uh, have, yes. Okay. Yeah, by two. Thank you. 
Are they connected? Sort of? Yes. So...
that you're not too nice, you know. Can I, can I just show you? And when you did this, now finally you have the chords. I'm 
Adrian. Oh, I thought it was so beautiful. Make the most really beautiful, most colorful sound that you can imagine making. So you really have to, you know, figure out in your own practice room. And I know some practice room, most of the practice room is not very, uh, you know, imaginative place. But just sort of imagine, okay. So you can tell that's good. So, okay, so that's a beautiful sound you made. But those little notes, really articulated. If you go too fast, you, don't have, you have no time to make it very pretty, right? So the second note,
you know, as according to your hands, and your hands are not so small as mine, but my hands are teeny little hands. So all my life, I figure out what to do with it, you know, and uh, he sings to both. So you can try it, you know, he goes,
Don't be shy about anything with something like this. Go for it, girl. <laughs> Wow. 